Here's how to record awesome montages using the flashback mod in Minecraft. First, you'll need to get the fabric mod loader. There's plenty of videos showing you how to do that. I won't explain it here. And then you'll also need to download the flashback mod, which you can get from Modrinth right here. Or you can get it, like, if you're using Prism Launcher, you can just select download mods on your instance and choose flashback. Boom. Anyways, once you have the mod and are in game, you should have this start recording button. So find the spot where you want to do your montage. I'll do it here. And so then just click start recording. So the flashback is recording. Let's do a strip mine. I'm in creative, so it won't really matter as much, but just to sort of get that idea. So I'm just strip mining here. I'll strip mine for a little bit until, and then I'll check back with you once that's done. All right, so I'm done strip mining and I found some diamonds. So now what you'll need to do is press finish recording. Let's call this diamonds. Yay. Now save that and then head back to the main menu. And boom, here we are inside of the professional interface of the flashback mod. So to move around inside of this spectator mode, you just hold down with your left mouse button and then you can fly around just like spectator mode. To play and pause the timeline, you'll have to use this button here. So we can just scrub through and, and then watch the player through the walls. One thing to note, this mod doesn't work with Distant Horizons quite yet, so you will need to turn that off if you are indeed using Distant Horizons. Alright, so here's my strip mining recording. Just mining through right here, having a good time. There's even some diamonds up there, but I decide to just keep going. So now, how do we turn this into a montage? Well, if you used any sort of editing software before, you'll be familiar with keyframes, and that's exactly what a flashback mod uses as well, in this nice professional interface. So, I'm going to start by going to where my mining starts, so right here. I need to scrub forward a little bit, and then, boom, here it goes. So I'm going to say, uh, right here, add element, oops, that physics mod is doing some crazy stuff, and a camera, and then you'll have to click this plus button to add a keyframe, boom. So now when you zoom out, you can see this, this camera right here. So now I'll let this play for a while. He's mining along. I'll let it go a bit further until he comes through right here. Nice. And then once you're here, you'll need to select add another keyframe. Boom. Just like that. And after that, you should be able to scroll back before your first keyframe. Press play and view it through the camera path. Unfortunately, there's not an advanced graph editor or anything like that yet. I don't know if that's even possible within the scope of Minecraft mod, so this is what we have to know. But I think we can adjust the smoothness right here by using a few presets like ease in and, and linear. So I'm gonna pick linear for this one and this one. And linear nice so now playing it back will show just a very linear motion as the name would suggest i'm also assuming you're probably pretty familiar with it if you use if you've used stuff like premiere or resolve etc all right so i'll just keep mining and follow the character All right, so now he's at the end of his mining trip, right here. And then that's where the montage will end. So I'm gonna add one more keyframe right here and select linear. Now, if we play from the camera position, we should be able to see the camera moving along with the character. 
However, it's not quite exactly like that. It's not lined up. So it'll take a bit of fine tuning. I'm gonna have to stretch this out so it's aligned some more, but I think that'll be pretty good. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's good. Now we'll be able to get this nice montage of him mining. Nice. And then once you've done, you're done. You can ex you can also experiment with adding other elements, orbit, shaking, field of view, speed, time lapse, all of this. Then you can press export. Also, real quick before you do this, you can override all of this stuff. You can you can choose not to render blocks at all or not to render players. And I'm going to turn off name tags for now. Next, just press export. And then you can choose all of your settings here. It's by ticks. So you'll have to find where your first, where you want your clip to start and choose that tick. So I want it to start on this keyframe. So if I right click, it says what tick it is. So 595. So I'm going to press export again and choose the start tick as 595. Nice. Now you can choose the container and codec, all of this, and then you just press start export. If you're on a tiling window manager like me, it might show up behind, which is just a bit annoying, but you can just save this in. I'm going to save it on my external drive under recordings and I'll say strip mining dot MP4 and press save save nice now you have to wait for this to render it should give you some nice information on the screen but if i move mine around it'll sort of mess up the recording so i have to hold it like this for now all right and once that's done you're all set you have a nice cinematic montage in flashback mod for micro